This can't be real. It's like we're all in a daze out here. We're looking for a weapon. They said he didn't even bring one. No signs of anything. Maybe there's just nothing here. Face it, Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter, he isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but you don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. Ghosts were real, and we could just talk to them. I'd accuse my boss of witchcraft in a heartbeat.
right. <laughs> I don't even know how I got here. I just want to go home. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know if there's anything I can do, but it looks like you could use some help. I, I, I don't know how I got here, or, or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, kid. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> Look, I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and see if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I, I don't even know where you'd start. Is there anything you remember? It doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. Um, I remember lots of people. And this rowboat. I, I, everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mata Hansen. That's a start. Let me see what I can do. This is her obituary. She died when a rowboat capsized and sank. Her body was never recovered. What was she doing on a rowboat? more than just this around here. Finding that stuff could help piece things together. There's a note. You will be deeply missed. You are a hero to us all. knows her their lives. She wasn't a victim. She was a hero. She saved a lot of people before her rowboat sank. She needs to know how much she meant to them. Did you find anything? That name you remember, the Mono Hanset? Turns out it was a steamer ship that sank right outside of Salem Harbor. If it weren't for you, a lot of people would have died. You're a hero. If I saved everyone, then how did I die? No, no, you, you didn't save everyone, but you were trying to. Your rowboat capsized. I can't swim, so I must have drowned. I'm sorry. No. Don't be. Thanks to you, instead of fear and sadness, I 
feel pride. If it weren't for you, I would never have known. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I could help. When you're running away, you need a sanctuary, a place where nothing bad can touch you. But you can never escape the questions. They follow you everywhere. Hey, hey, hey! It's okay. Just don't go near them. I couldn't look anymore. I, I had to stop it. Those hands, they tore at my soul, at my mind. It's your eyes. They get in through your eyes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just calm down. You're not making any sense. Shh. <laughs> what? They're coming. 
coming for you. I can still see them. Did she find this as creepy as I do? Oh, no, 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 no. She never knew. Where's the fun in that? So you stalked her? I was the only one who appreciated her. Not like all those strangers she met at the bars, those animals. That's why I had to get rid of them. I did it for us. Looks like one of them didn't go so quietly. No. They were all too drunk to put in much of a struggle. This happened while I was watching her. I didn't realize I'd backed into a snowbank. I, I never smelled the exhaust. Suddenly I was here. To be honest, it's the best thing that ever happened to us. No more pesky walls or locks. Now I can watch her. Watch her every move. Forever. Hey, find your own girl. This one's mine. At least it's well lit, and there are people around. What was that? Thought I heard a sound. Where is she? Wasn't there a clue about the church and the apartment? Anywhere that I could stay, just for a Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here now. I think we have an old attic you can stay in for as long as you like. She's been staying in the attic? I better go check it out. to come. Deliver us from the shadow of the evil one. Save us from the dark trials to come. Deliver us from the shadow of the evil one. If there's someone up there, please start protecting us. God, I hope this is helping. She's praying what I'm thinking. It's getting dangerous out there with all these murders. Yeah, at least we're safe in here. I don't think that evil bastard is gonna hide out anywhere near a church. <sighs> at least I'm not alone. A lot of prayers going up right now. Not just hers. I'm sure it's just isolated victims. He picks off. There's one promise I never regretted. When she calms down, 
I'll go ask her why she needs to stay here. This place is so cold tonight. Must be up there. is a hard cold plunge. This would never happen in my kitchen. They want excellent food under these conditions? Those air vents okay? Oh, yes sir, just regular maintenance. These things are big enough for small animals to go hiking in, so we just have to make sure none of the little critters get trapped in there. Well, what happens then? You probably don't want to hear about it in the food preparation area. It can get smelly. Maybe that's why they use incense, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're quite the fairy tale. They weren't high school sweethearts, you know. Everyone thinks they were, but they just seem like they've been in love forever. But they met right after college. Total chance thing, trip to Europe. I was hoping he'd meet a nice Irish girl in Dublin, but he met Shelley down in Florence. And she's from Boston. He travels thousands of miles across the freaking ocean to meet the love of his life, who lives right down the road. Kind of makes you believe in fate. Like they were just meant to meet and be happy together forever, right? That's great. Really great. You follow football? I, I don't just mean the Pats. I mean local Friday night kind. Oh, yeah, sure. Sometimes. Now, my boy quarterback for the Witches all four years at Salem High. He was on the varsity when he was a freshman. Well, congratulations on the wedding, uh, and the football. But this guy would love to see my boy play football. It's not my fault, my kid's great. Well, this guy shut up. Not even listening. Picky, but seriously, now do you call this a centerpiece? I'm sorry, ma'am. The request form said it would be a Puritan themed display. It wasn't a lot more specific. <sighs> look at that. Just look at it. You call that Puritan. There's plastic in that. You think there was plastic anything when they landed on Plymouth Rock? Well, I didn't think it needed to be that precise. No, you didn't think too hard about any of this, did you? Hmm. Authentic Puritan is organic, rustic, yet tasteful. It says Salem. This whole wedding says Salem. It's a statement of pride. Don't you have any pride for this town? Actually, I'm from Weymouth. 
My family, not my husband's Irish family, but my family, the Winslows. We go all the way back to the Pilgrims. We settled in Salem in the 1600s. We invented Thanksgiving. Where do they get their help? Just no respect for history anymore. Can't wait till this one is over. I think I just found the only real witch in Salem. I don't know, Angie. Brian is a lovely boy, but I worry about his family. Well, his mother does seem to be a bit of a heartbeat, but Brian's worth it. Yeah, I think so too, dear. It's just that Shelley didn't grow up around boisterous people, and I worry about the pressures of their relationship. Oh, Sheila, they'll be fine. You know they'll have a long, happy life together. Oh, I'm sure you're right. You've been her best friend since, what, fourth grade? <laughs> I think in some ways you know her better than I do. <sighs> She's had a great role model for motherhood, I must say. When she has kids, they're just gonna blossom with her. You're so sweet. I must admit I am looking forward to grandchildren. Has she said anything to you? Well, she hasn't said anything specific. I know they both want kids, but they ought to have a couple of years just to enjoy each other. Of course, I don't, I don't mean to be selfish. I mean, what's the hurry? They're young. I hope my wedding isn't this stressful. He's a great guy, but she's right about his mother. It's so simple to be a nice person. Why can't everyone do it? My girl's marrying her love. That's all that counts. Shoot, cat, get out of here. Nothing is going to happen. We're probably better off at home with the doors locked.
There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? It was somewhere around noon on a Sunday when I got a call from the pastor. He was looking for someone to fix up the old church. It had been sitting up on that hill, abandoned for over 40 years after getting hit by lightning back in 98. It suffered a bunch of fire damage. So of course I, I agreed to help. I knew something was wrong the second I stepped inside. As an, an inexplicable chill came over me. Anyway, I, I shook it off and I, I set to work. As I started tearing up the damaged floorboards, they were all bad. Well, I uncovered an old rat's nest. It seemed like any of the others I'd seen over my 22 years in the construction business until I saw the scraps of human hair and bones that the rats had used to make it. Well, suddenly I, I heard the floorboards on the second floor creaking above me and the sounds of a young girl weeping. Well, you know, I was worried that the damaged section of the ceiling was gonna give away under her weight, so you know, I, I yelled, hey, you know, stop, come down immediately. Well, my voice must have startled her because she went completely silent. So I got up and I, I went to look for her. When I entered the room upstairs, though, I was surprised to see it completely empty. It only took me you know, a minute to make my way up there, and I would have heard her run off if she did. But that's when I heard the weeping again. Only this time it was coming from the bell tower. So I, I climbed up the long, treacherous, curving stairs at the top, and I, I noticed what I thought was dried blood dotting the way. And when I finally got up to the belfry, I was just paralyzed with terror because lying before me was the withered corpse of a young girl. Judging by her sun-bleached clothes and weathered bones, it seemed like she'd been lying there for the better part of those 40 years the place had been empty. The rats, I mean, they, they picked her bones clean. I, well, I took off running. I didn't stop until I got all the way to town. The ravages of time made it impossible for the authorities to get any identity on this girl. It seems Salem will never know who killed her. Some people still claim to hear her weeping there. As for myself, I never went back. to dump your unfinished business Hold on. on me. Now, I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... Wait a minute. You, you can see me? And hear me? <sighs> Holy shit. You're a medium. Well, I ain't, ain't I the luckiest guy in the world? I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. 
I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you. If anything, you owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you is horrible. And you... You saved my life, so... What do you want? I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place. So why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. for your mom. What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. So where's your mom, kid? Probably dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word, never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. Respectable living? Yeah. You might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book. And it's in her handwriting. Bell Killer book. If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? Why don't you live there? Because of people like you always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom, but I can't live in one place for too long or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I, I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is? Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you, and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem, too. 
<laughs> no way. Uh, don't get me wrong, you saved my life and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but your problems are your problems and mine are mine. <sighs> there they are. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Well, wait a minute, don't go yet. Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead. I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down. Even so soon, dear. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, my child. What's gotten into you? Damn it. Now what? Jesus. <laughs> so, where'd she go, huh? Leave 
now. Find my book at the station and don't look back. Yeah. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. <laughs> She'll blend in well there. Did you know her mother worked for the police? Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. Time to head back to the station. I can't smell good. Ugh. It smells perfect. It smells like her. So you just decided to help yourself to her closet, then? No, 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 no. The ones in her closet were too new. Besides, she knew someone had been in there. I waited until she threw them out. You know, I was always good at waiting and watching. Sometimes she would look around like she could feel me watching. And if she caught you, then what? Your whole world would come crashing down. Why? It never has in the past. I deal with her the way I dealt with the others. And then I move on to the next one. Moving on in this place might be harder than you think. <laughs>